today on WFMS. We have some important information as we approach the end of our week. If you are part of the Captain's Creative Writing Club, you will want to listen up. Our cheerleaders are selling candy grams now. Would you like to know what happened on this day in history? We want to encourage our 8th graders to not wait to purchase your yearbook ads. Chromebook damages are on the increase, so listen up for some Chromebook care ideas. We have 17 days left until Christmas and nine and a half school days left until our break. The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Nora. And I'm Gracie. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. Clubs are back on schedule, but with Christmas break just around the corner, we can expect changes in scheduling as the holidays approach. Stay tuned to WFMS News for any announcements concerning schedule changes. We want to remind students that are a part of the Cabin's Creative Writing Club that you will be meeting next Monday, but you will not be meeting on Monday the 19th, so make sure your parents are aware. Stay tuned for any updates. We will be continuing our Chromebook Care segments announcements off and on as we go through the remainder of the year. As we approach Christmas, we want to remind you and encourage you not to travel with your Chromebook over the holidays unless absolutely necessary. Also, you may not know that the Chromebooks are locked if they aren't connected to US Wi-Fi. Our video on Tuesday gave us a lot of tips for Chromebook Care, but we have a few more based on common issues we have observed this year here at FMS. Please make sure that you are carrying the device by the base, not the screen. Keep your Chromebook closed in the hallways because we have so many broken screens because students are always walking with them open in the hallways and drop them. Please don't have liquids or food by your Chromebook. There have been so many liquid damages this year. Our last reminder for today is that you may put stickers on the Chromebook case. If you have one, but absolutely do not put them directly on the Chromebook, etc. Spread holiday cheer this year by purchasing a candy gram for $2. Candy grams are a reindeer card with a lollipop that can be sent to your friends, classmates, teachers, coaches, and FMS staff. Send them from you or send them anonymously. Candy grams will be sold during lunch at the table by the front office. Thank you for supporting our FMS cheerleaders. That's it for announcements. Now for our Throwback Thursday, exploring events from this day in history. Hi, I'm Gabriel. And I'm Gracie. Now for our Throwback Thursday as we look at this day in history. Did you know that on this day in 1854, Pope Pius IX proclaimed the dogma of the Immaculate Conception? On this day in 1886, the American Federation of Labor was founded at a convention of union leaders in Columbus, Ohio. Did you know that on this day in 1941, Congress declared war on Japan and the U.S. entered World War II? On Sunday, December 7, 1941, shortly before 8 a.m., Japan launched a surprise attack on the United States of America by bombing the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. The base was attacked by 350 Imperial Japanese aircrafts. Though the raid only lasted 75 minutes, the Japanese destroyed or damaged nearly 20 American naval vessels, including 8 battleships and more than 340 airplanes. Over 2,400 Americans died in the attack, and many more were wounded. While the attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise, Tensions between the U.S. and Japan had deteriorated over the decade, in particular with regards to Japan's expansion into China. The plan for attacking Pearl Harbor was to destroy the U.S.'s Pacific Fleet, a move which would give the Japanese time to carry out its plans to keep control of the Pacific without U.S. interference. The shock of the attack without declaration of war enraged the American public and rallied the nation to get behind a war many hoped to avoid. At the beginning of his speech to Congress requesting a declaration of war, 
President Franklin D. Roosevelt delivered this now famous line. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. On December 8, 1941, one day after the attack, the United States Congress declared war on Japan, officially entering World War II. On this day in 1949, communist attacks forced the Chinese nationalist government to flee the, to the island of Formosa, or Taiwan. On this day in 1978, former Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir died. On this day in 1980, John Lennon, former member of the Beatles, was shot and killed in New York City by a deranged fan. On this day in 1987, President Reagan and Soviet U leader Mikhail Gorbachev signed the first treaty to reduce the nuclear arsenals of the two superpowers. On this day in 1993, President Bill Clinton signed the North American Free Trade Agreement into law. History is always in the making. What will your history be? No sports to report today. Now back to the news desk. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make good choices. Be kind, stay safe, and, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.